guys and welcome back to my channel. So this week I am doing a continuation of a series that I said I would do a continuation on a long time ago. So if you've watched my videos before or have been here for a long time, I started a friendship series which was called What is Friendship? And I said maybe I'll make a couple videos for this series and I never really got around to it. And a situation happened a week ago and I was just like, wow, I should make this video. So this video is about boundaries in relationships and before you say wow relationships wow that's a lot it's not romantic relationships it is set on friendships so boundaries and friendships and a lot of people struggle with finding boundaries and friendships where is over the line where are you always saving people all the time and where is when you need to give more into a relationship so i found some scriptures about just setting relationship standards and boundaries so then you're not overly attached or overly reliant on a person. So let's get started. The first scripture is 1 Corinthians 15 33 and that reads, Do not be misled. Bad company corrupts good character. So this scripture is basically just saying that bad company corrupts over good intentions. So if you go into a friendship and you don't really like it and you're just trying to change this person, it may not work. Like you may have good intentions, but their negativity will rub off on you whether you want it to or not. That's just how friendships work. You take you take things from relationships. You take sayings, the way that the, what they watch, music recommendations, you all usually take those from your friends. So you will even take character traits from your friends. So that's why God says, do not be misled. Bad company will corrupt good character. So even if you have a good character and you're like, I'm strong in God, but if you are constantly in that situation, things will start to happen and you will start to change. So you have to evaluate that before you go into a friendship. The second scripture is Proverbs 22, 24 through 25, and that reads, Do not make friends with hot-tempered people. Do not associate with people easily angered, or you will learn this way, and you yourself will get ensnared. So this scripture is basically just reinstating my last point. When you're in a bad relationship, in a bad situation, it may bring the worst out for you. It may like bring a bad influence. It will influence you in the wrong way and not a godly way. The third scripture, well the third and fourth, there's kind of two parts, is Galatians 6, 2 and Galatians 6, 5. So Galatians 6, 2 reads, carry each other's burdens and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. Galatians 6, 5 reads, for each one should carry their own load. So I picked these two scriptures to explain something that I feel like is a common misconception, not only in Christian relationships, but non-Christian relationships. Um, so basically this means, what does this all mean, you're probably asking, is you're probably thinking the Bible is contradicting itself. It's saying in one passage that we should help each other out and carry each other's bur burdens, whoa, that we should carry each other's burdens. And then in another passage, it says we carry our own loads. So what does that exactly? So I'm going to go into context, which is very important about the Bible. If you ever have a question, you should read around. So not just pick random scriptures. So if you read Galatians 6, 1, which reads, Brothers and sisters, if someone is caught in a sin, you who live by the Spirit should restore them gently, but watch yourselves, or you may also be tempted. This, that scripture, the context around it, is basically saying that be careful if somebody is sinning that you will not get tempted. And it also says that we should help other people if they're caught in a sin or if they just aren't noticing something. We should help people grow in their walk with God, but we should also be careful to make sure we do not fall into this same, you know, pitfall that they're falling into as well. So this is basically just saying that we should help people with their burdens, but it also does say in 6.1 that we shouldn't, that we shouldn't be tempted by the same burden. So we shouldn't get so attached and be so lenient on one another that when somebody struggles, you struggle too. It should be a healthy relationship when someone's struggling, you can maybe help them without getting yourself in a pickle. 
And in 6.5, God is basically just giving us permission to say that we carry our own load. Like, at the end of the day, our load is our load. When we go up to heaven, we will not be asked about Sister X, Brother Z's sin and why we didn't fix it. That's not what it's going to be. It's going to be our problems that we're talking about at the end of the day. And I'm not saying to, like, kick your brothers and sisters to the curb. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that at the end of the day, we have to carry our own burdens. We can help people carry theirs, and we can help people maybe help the burden be a little bit less strenuous. But at the end of the day, we can't carry their own burdens because we have enough burdens of our own. So God is basically saying, like, you are not your brother's keeper. You're not responsible for everybody in your church being a perfect disciple, having a perfect walk with God. That's not what the Bible is saying. It's saying you have your own loads and everyone is has to carry their own load at the end of the day. The fourth scripture is Matthew 7, 6. Do not turn and throw your pearls to pigs. If you do, they may trample them under their feet and turn and tear you to pieces. So this scripture is basically just saying not everyone wants to be saved and in relationships we don't have to set it to be our goal to fix everything that we have to fix our friends that we have to fix our family that we have to fix brother a or sister z or we don't that's not our job like some people are perfectly content with their life spiritual or not spiritual some people are just so content in what they do they're so content in the life they live they're happy with the grades they get in school they're happy with the job they have the car they have the friendships they have and you may not think that they're happy with that and you may think you may, you need to fix it you know you'll be a lot happier this way and that may be true that they will be happier that way but some people just are perfectly content in the situation they are and this scripture is basically just saying don't give your pearls to pigs don't waste your time trying to reach out to people who aren't open don't waste your time trying to fix people's relationships when they really don't care <laughs> It's not our job to fix it because they want that to happen. They want to be in that situation. So you just sometimes just have to leave it because when you don't leave it, you get hurt. Like you get in your feelings, you get frustrated because you're like, you know, I've worked so hard in this relationship. I've told her countless times to do this different, do that different. And at the end of the day, when we try to make relationships like that, where we have to fix people, we end up unhappy and we end up frustrated and we end up with all these different frustrations about why is this not working out this way. And relationships aren't made to be a project. Relationships aren't DIYs. You're supposed to have a common interest and you're supposed to build up from there, not going into a relationship going, I'm going to fix this person because this is clearly wrong with them. So thank you guys for watching this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, do whatever you do, and I hope to see you next Sunday. Good.